Now let's go over the store policies. How do we actually set those policies? So what I'm going to do on Etsy under my shop manager is scroll down to settings and let's start with the delivery settings. So here you're going to have your delivery profiles. I'm going to create a new profile so you'll see how to do it from scratch. So I'm going to click on create profile country of origin. So where are you shipping these items from? In this case, let's go with United States and we're going to add a zip code in the US because we may not know exactly which warehouse is going to come out of. So use a zip code in the US and processing time. How long will it take you to ship out that order? Or in other words, how long will it take you to provide tracking information? Okay, in this case, let's go with three to five business business days since I know that Walmart in this example is going to ship out that quickly and then we've got the standard delivery so what is a delivery service that you are going to offer now in this case we can't know for sure that we're going to get a USPS or a FedEx or a UPS tracking number so we can go with other then select a delivery time the delivery time is how long it will take the item to reach the buyer's address once the item actually ships out so let's say you gave it three days handling time so that's three days now after those three days how many more days for it to deliver to the customer so in this case let's say another three to five business days okay and in this case we're gonna offer free shipping so instead of giving a fixed price we're gonna offer free delivery since this etsy account was opened up in the united kingdom then it's also asking me about my domestic delivery service so in this case i'm gonna say other and about three to five free delivery now everywhere else so worldwide delivery can you ship globally if your supplier can then again you're going to go with other and give it a delivery time in this case i would say 10 to 30 days since it's worldwide you don't know how long it's going to take and you're going to offer free delivery or maybe you're going to charge for shipping in this case you can say exactly how much you want to charge okay you can add another location if you want so if you want to be able to ship to a specific country or location that's not worldwide you can do so here and if you want to give a faster delivery option you can do so that's a trick that i like to do also on eBay where I can say, okay, your item is going to ship out within 10 days, but if you pay another $5, it's going to ship out within six days. But either way, it's going to ship out within six days. Okay. So you can do that here and the name of your profile. Okay. So in this case, US and worldwide, call it whatever you want save your profile and that's pretty much it now we have another profile called us and worldwide with the processing time three to five business days and how many active listings you have with that policy in this case i've got five listings which you already saw on my etsy account that have the regular usa shipping policy but this is how you can create another policy and of course i can move those active listings to this shipping policy if i wanted to do so okay so that's how easy it is to create your shipping policies now let's go back to the settings and create our policy settings or in other words, what do we do when it comes to returns and exchanges? Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new policy here. So I'm going to click on create policy. And here you're going to specify if you accept returns. So if your supplier allows you to return the item, then you're also going to allow the buyer to return the item. The better service you can give the buyer, the higher the chances that you're going to make more sales and of course more profit. So here, for example, I do accept the returns of this item. Exchanges, I accept exchanges. So when the customer returns a product, I can either send them a refund or send out an exchange, another product instead. Dead. and buyers must contact me and send the item back within how long so do you want to give them seven day returns 30 day returns 90 day returns that is completely up to you so you can choose it right here in the drop down menu in this case i'm going to keep it on 30 days of delivery and the conditions of the return you can't really touch this the buyer is responsible for return postage costs even though you can still offer free returns and let the buyer know hey you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna pay for your return label but only do that if you're gonna get a free return from your supplier too and buyer is responsible for loss in value as agreed upon with seller if an item isn't returned in its original condition okay so you can refund a smaller amount if you want especially if your supplier is not going to give you a full refund too okay then we're going to go with save and apply well in this case i already have a policy with those policies so it's not going to let me create a duplicate but of course i can do it again in this case i'm going to go with 60 days returns then i'm going to click on save and apply and of course success your policy is set okay now i don't have any listings with that policy you can see right here that i have my 30 days in exchanges and i got my 60 days with no active listings inside that policy okay so that is how you can create your returns and exchanges policy so we learned how to create our shipping policies our return policies how to create our seller account how to research the right products to sell how to add products to etsy how to optimize our product pages what we can sell what we can sell and everything that goes along with that 